Health information technology is a profession that requires a two-year degree in focusing on what do we do with medical information. So when we say health information, we're really calling, calling it medical information. That means that any healthcare visit anywhere, whether it be ambulatory surgery or a hospital visit or your doctor's office, there's a medical record that's maintained on every single patient. We maintain that information and we ensure that for patients that record is complete, accurate, up to date, timely and accessible for those who need it. In order to uh, get into this program, you don't need a medical background uh, to start with. Um, I came into this program with, with the only background I had was previous coursework in anatomy and physiology, which is coursework that you would get with the programs. We are an accredited program through a national organization known as the American Health Information Management Association. That particular association develops the national exam and the exam is an online exam taken here west, in Western New York when you're ready, when you complete the program. The accreditation status requires that our curriculum meet those national standards. And basically it says that we teach you everything you need to pass that exam and earn that credential that's recognized throughout the United States. The background you receive in your two years of, of schooling and your internships pre prepares you tremendously to, to take these certification exams. With no coding experience, but just the coding experience I gained through the, pro the, the courses at Erie Community College allowed me to sit and pass that exam. Uh, making up a new policy and procedure, then you really have to sit down with the person who's actually going to do the job. Go ahead and do one, then kind of do a test run, see does it really work. There's about a 16% growth in the career for um, hiring in the next um, five to 10 years. So it is growing quickly because of the move towards electronic health records as mandated by the federal government. So our students are not just coding medical records and determining reimbursement, but we're also key, key players in the transition to an electronic health record. Well, not only will you work for, say, a large hospital, you could work for a small dental office or doctor's office, you can work for law firms, you can work for insurance agencies and analyze records for law, uh, lawsuits and things like that. You can work from home as a transcriptionist. There's just so many little keys. You're not just stuck doing one thing over and over and over again. You have to run a report on all of Dr. Smith's charts, pull them for that doctor. The instructors in this program are fantastic. They're professional in that they have experience in the field, they continue to work in the field, and they present it in such a way that, they, that you're updated, and yet they're very approachable. Uh, I never had a time when they wouldn't take time to talk to me about something to do with the program, whether it's after class, during office hours. The faculty want you to be prepared for what's out there for you. They don't want you to be shocked. You know, they, they tell you the good and the bad that came along with it and they were the faculty is always there to explain anything to you um, they were ex there to not only be your teacher but your mentor and your friend at the same time we have a very small student faculty ratio so we have constant interaction with our students not only for coursework but for career planning and advisement in that regard we also are very active in the community so we kind of understand where jobs are we understand what the facility is like to work there and to to be in that facility and we understand what each facility does and what their specialty might be so we have great connections in the community for many of our students who like to stay in this community most of our graduates have a job by the time they finish the program and I would say 75 to 80 percent before they even graduate and most get a job within three months of graduation. Depending on the process you want to choose, you can just cross it off on the deficiency slip. You don't have to reprint the deficiency okay. slip. Okay. During the course of your two-year degree, there will be two internships. Uh, one is over between the summer of your first and second year, and it's usually done at a hospital. Um, where you learn, in, you learn uh, about uh, health information technology from an inpatient setting. Uh, there's a second internship which will take place uh, in the spring of your senior year, which is uh, more done in an outpatient setting. Uh, doctor's office, insurance 
company. My place to intern, I had a very good experiences. They understand why are you there. They understand that you're a student. You need to be exposed to different aspects of the profession and they work with you throughout your internship. The interns that are coming from ECC are very well prepared. Um, the faculty gives me a great program that is a guide for the students and they very much well know their material when they come into medical records. So if you're having surgery on the, the forearm and you have a diagnosis that says it's, it's the hand, then they won't match, so they might send it back. We hope our students leave with the knowledge to pass the national exam, the motivation to develop their own career, and the skills to learn for life.